Hi guys, I hope that you've had a fantastic week and that you're all nice and cozy, just like I am, snug as a bug in a rug. Uh, well, I'm not. This is the only opportunity that I get to dress up. Oh my God, Gina, you look absolutely amazing. I wish I'd thought Yes, of well, that. you can go home and quarantine while I'll stay here and quarantine queen. Laters. <sighs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the biggest tool? Well, that's obviously Colin. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for um, being here today and watching my show. Um, we've got some awesome part pickies, some awesome selfies that you guys have been sending in today. So I'm so excited to be presenting them to you. Check out this awesome time lapse sent in by Stratos Engineering. It's made on a Citizen L32 sliding head machine with LFV. The machine has been uh, running unmanned 24 seven. It's operated by Simon Wells. It's not just used one axis, two axis, but all seven axis. And it was used with a powered B axis to drill off the center angled holes, running at 27 seconds per part. They have run almost six thousand in two days. Keyence have also kindly loaned the company one of their IM7000 um, series imaging machines at a very short space of time which checks the accuracy within two microns. This has enabled them to inspect one in 50 parts that have come off the slide and head machine and they're now considering purchasing this measuring system. So that's an absolutely incredible story um, with a potential sale in it so we absolutely love it because it's business as usual. Are we playing? Yep. <laughs> Thanks Stratos Engineering for that fantastic footage. If you've got a time lapse video that you want featuring, it, featuring on this incredible show, make sure to get in touch with me. Anyway, talking of automating 24 seven, artificial intelligence really has come a long way. Check out this AI technology me and Colin saw at the Southern Manufacturing event. This one has a bit of a challenge in it as well, so make sure that you're putting your guesses in. Colin, what on earth is all of this? this I think this is the way forward, it's AI. So basically, you've got a drawing, a file, send it in, they will then get your quote in 24 hours, they will then get manufactured in five days. But they've got also artificial intelligence, so it's learning all the time, but what you're making is, you know, it's, there's no sort of end to part. So turn part there, another turn part, even more intricate there. Look at that, loads of threading, turning, slotting, grooving. What is that? Uh, I'll tell you what, maybe we can throw that out to people and find it. Ask what you reckon that is, we'll find out and we'll get the answer. Nice question there, Gina. There you go, guess Ooh. that part. And three, 3D printed work at command there. Look, that's a great little part there. That looks like a little, like, cat cat toy? Cat toy? Yeah, sure, it no? isn't. sure it isn't, Gina. But so 3D printed, mill turned, as I say, they're sheet, sheet metal. So this is a way forward, a bit of AI engineering. There you go, a quote within 24 hours and delivered within five days. Yeah. There you go, I think I've learned a lot there. Well, there you go. Just have a guess of what you think that is and we will announce the winner and the answer next week. Blast from the past. What do you want? Blast from the past. <laughs> so, blast from the past. Oh, wait there. Blast from the past this week is when Colin visited Adam's Lube Tech, where they have a range of machines that are still in regular, regular use. Regular la la. Not only that, he found a health and safety manual dating back to the 1970s and Colin nearly trips over it. So check out this. This is why we do Blast Pass. There you've got some old butterly presses, but walk this way, a smorgasbord of old machines, but still in regular use. So this is what started our Blast Pass series off, an old Herbert Capstan lathe, absolutely fantastic there. Now look at this though, this just proves in use all day, every day. Almost, almost anyway, the whole Bridgeport mill there, but they're making this part, you can see, oh, hold that for the cameraman, from solid bitted, slotted, threaded, tapped, cracking little part, all made manually. And this gentleman here is beavering away, making some plastic parts on his machine. We won't disturb him. And here, another old lady there, look at that, beautiful. And then the next one, a classic Colchester student, 1800. Even I know how to change the spindle speed on this. I won't, because as is usual, I'll probably break it now. Some old, and let me get this right, Fobco drills there, look at those. And just to prove, slightly different part there, but still, Drilled and tapped, fantastic. So this is one of the reasons what I what we do blast the past. So some old Bridgeport, we've seen the back or oh, back end of these, but Chris, come on, walk this way, please, mate. Be careful, be careful. And that is a bit of a whatever the word is, because health and safety, they were even going mad for seven shillings. And let's just get the date of that. Hold on. There you go. 1951, reprinted 1961. And still, 
come on. Common sense does prevail, but really. And last but not least, the Zeus Engineers Essential 1972. This is why we do Blast in the Past, all these absolute classics. Check out these SMW Autoblock Telbrook setting tables designed and manufactured in-house at their site in Nottingham. Using SMW Autoblock Zero Point APS system, the setting table is designed for their customers' fixture preparation. This is one of their trademark products that, um, that they only manufacture for SMW Autoblock. This one in question here was for, the, for a large aerospace company in France. Ooh la la! This awesome, this awesome video was sent in by NTD Equipment Supplies in Wellingborough. Check out their Hexagon Global S Chrome with a scanning and tactile probes, you also optional camera, which measures up to six microns precision. also sent in this cheeky slow-mo of their Jones and Shipman surface grinder. Take a look at this. <laughs> so it's network news now. So how does Gina do that? What, with glasses? I'm not wearing glasses, forget that. Anyway, network news. So, Rotec Engineering leaps into action. Rotec are pulling out all the stops from the initial call in a matter of days. The team have reacted and secured a supply chain to the age of manufacture of critical components for the Ventilator Challenge UK. Their dedicated employees are going above and beyond the expectations, working 24-7 to facilitate the critical demand of these ventilators. Capacity has been diverted on multiple machines and are being retooled for the manufacture of these ventilators. Tube manufacturing for the aerospace and medical sector. There are some occasions in life where you'll need absolute confidence in equipment around you. Whether you're boarding an aircraft for sunshine destination or being wheeled into an operating theatre and hospital, the equipment you rely on needs to be nothing short of excellent in every single way. In the aerospace industry, tubes which are generally used for airframes, engines and instrumentation must be sturdy yet light and able to withstand the most challenging conditions. In medicine, tubes must offer the most utmost reliability, ready to support the most complex of medical procedures without causing any additional risks to the patient's safety. At Hone All, they have extensive experience working alongside partners from the aerospace and medical fields. And they are continually invested in the cutting edge technology to deliver precision tubes pitched towards the requirements of the individual product. And project. So if you are in need of any types of these products and projects, please reach out to them. So Colin sent out 20 bags of magnets last week and those companies that he sent these incredible magnets out to were Claydon Precision Engineering Limited, Dymark Precision, Fabry World, Haley 24-7 Engineering Service Limited, CSS Precision, Cam Machine, oh, Cam Machine Components, Vector XL, Contech Recruitment, Sinclair Harding, NIDA Products, <laughs> Multi Tip, Mass Engineering, NLM and Sons, Nemine, Micron Design Limited, Boundary Precision Engineering, and Apsley Engineering Limited. Is it Apsley? That's all from me. See and see you later. I'm Gina Tara. Good night. Or for me, it's just a start because I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna party hard because that's what I do. I'm a quarantine queen here. That's, that's who I am. So yeah, you guys have a stay at home in your comfies. I'm just gonna be at home raving and misbehaving. Gina, Tiara out. <laughs>